From time to time on this show, we like to set aside a few minutes to discuss some of the common apologetics used in defense of theism. Heath, what insult to neurochemicals do you have for us today? Today, we'll be discussing the argument from, I don't give a shit. Is that the formal name of the argument? Sure, yeah. Why, why wouldn't that be the formal name of the argument? Because the names of apologetics don't usually have shit in them. Oh, they should. Well, yeah, I agree. So how is the argument from I don't give a shit formally stated? All right, it usually takes a form, something like this. Premise A, in order for a God claim to be justifiable, it needs to achieve a minimum threshold of evidence. Mm-hmm. Premise B, no God claim achieves that minimum threshold of evidence. Mm-hmm. Conclusion, I don't give a shit. I still believe in God. That doesn't sound like a real argument. Have you never argued with a Christian before? Oh, no, I mean, I'm not saying that they don't say that, but, but not giving a shit isn't an argument so much as the abdication of an argument. Uh, au contraire. If this was used to end the argument, it might be an abdication. But the argument from I don't give a shit gets used on both offense and defense. How so? Have you ever had a person tell you that prayer helps them personally or, you know, that religion makes people happy? Yeah, or, uh, yeah of course. Yeah, or, or like, you know, how religion benefits society or it gives meaning to people's lives. Yeah, I've heard all of those, of course. Right. Well, there you go. Those are all examples of actively not giving a shit. H- having a team of French ass gnomes would help me personally. They'd make me happy, give meaning to my life, benefit society, especially in public transit elevator type situations with me. Yeah. Having a team of little French ass gnomes working my prostate around the clock would be awesome, but doesn't have any bearing on whether it's true that I have well, the ass gnomes. Not that one ever needs a reason uh, to bring up a team of prostate-stimulating ass gnomes, but I'm not sure I really <sighs> understand the connection. Well, all the arguments we're talking about, these, you know, these appeals to emotion, they're generally a desperate attempt to throw a net under the whole argument. They're, they're an effort to say, even if I'm wrong... I'm really right because I'm wrong in a good way, a a way that gives life meaning and benefits society. Well, okay, but religion doesn't benefit society. It it does a lot more harm than good. Obviously, you don't need to convince me of that. Yes. Well, no, no, I mean, but in terms of the apologetics. So, like, if, if, if they say that religion benefits society, I can just point out that it doesn't. Ah, but you underestimate the power of the argument from not giving a shit there. You see, once it's been invoked, your opponent can continue to... Not give a shit about all your counterarguments, too. That's well, but then bonus. it's the, the abdication that we were talking about. Not if they keep not giving a shit. Here, let's, let's play the defense out. Let's say you just pointed out the logical impossibility of, you know, an all-knowing, all-powerful being. Okay, I like where we're at. And I say, I don't give a shit. Religion is good for society. Okay. <clears throat> no, it isn't. For every homeless shelter religion started, it also started a war. I don't give a shit. The people who are using it to start wars are doing it wrong. Religion helps me personally. But if it isn't true, how can you be better off thinking it is? Wouldn't it be better to know the truth than believe a lie? I don't give a shit if it's true. It comforts me. So if it stopped comforting you, you would stop believing in it? The land between the Tigris and the Euphrates. That has nothing to do with my question. I don't give a shit. Oh, okay, but in reality, how does this differ from the argument from Neener, 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 I'm not listening? It's way fewer syllables, less than half. Uh, Okay, so how should we handle this argument when we encounter it? Well, you said earlier that it was an abdication of the argument, but in reality, it's an abdication of logic. So in order to reach the point where they're trying to justify something based on how awesome it would be if it was true, they've moved so far into the theoretical that you can't win the argument without regrounding them a little bit. Okay, so how do you do that? Ideally, you shit in a Tupperware sandwich container and hand it to them. You what? Yeah, you shouldn't. You, you'd already done that. You had it ready. They, they'll, they'll only be left with two choices. They can either continue to not give a shit, in which case they have to keep that Tupperware container forever, or they have to pass it to you, an unsuspecting janitor, or a persistent ex, whatever. They have to get rid of it. If they choose option B, they'll once more be giving a shit. I don't be, well, technically, but I don't think that would be persuasive. Uh, in my experience... Not only do you win the argument, but they'll usually proactively concede any future disagreement that might arise between the two of you. Well, yeah. Plus, it's physically impossible to believe that God loves you when you have a plastic box of shit in your hands. It's very difficult anyway. Okay, but 
But you'd have to like carry a turd around with you everywhere you go. I don't, I don't think it's worth it. It's an automatic win for the argument. Well, sure, but I, I don't give a shit if you could you win don't? the argument. Well, ar- here, why don't you hold this for a second? Okay, no, 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 okay, right. I get the idea. I don't disagree with you anymore. See? 